I'm just waiting for it. Son bitch, he's probably in the shower. I'll text him real quick and let him know that I'm here. Oh, we'll see how that goes. All right, so basic sum, uh, sum up for what we're going to be doing today. We did the plastering on the walls yesterday just to fill in those holes, and now today we'll be um, painting over any like previous markings, painting over those holes basically, um, and just, you know, making the room look nice. So it's not going to be a long video unless we stuff up somehow, but I don't guarantee that's going to happen. That mother is still in the shower, 100%. What are we looking for? Looking for a sample, a sample pot lexicon half deluxe. And then it's got Satan or Satan, I don't know. Satan? Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> oh, no, these are sample pots. Yeah. Lexicon. Lexicon half, come on. Lexicon half, right there. I'm blind. I'm so blind. So that's how much of that? Five bucks. Five bucks. Awesome. Where do I go? Okay. Are you about to blow up another light? Nah. Never do So we're having a dilemma. Ryan, what's going on? Okay, so basically we're getting the, you know, we want to get some comfortable chairs, but with our current budget at the moment, we don't want to be spending around $200, $300 for a single chair. But right now, we've actually got two options. So there's one that Reese is sitting on, um, which it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's it's not the worst. I don't think we'll, we'll um, manage with that chair. I don't think it'll be nice. But then we've got this one here, which is a lot cheaper. It's your $74 job -y. And I think this is probably the most comfortable. It's great for my back. I honestly love it. But um, we were just starting to have a chat about maybe in the you know, first, two, first two years that these might not even be suitable. Because um, you know, we'll probably be sitting at these chairs maybe six, seven hours a day, close to that. Yeah, I just don't know if these uh, chairs will be able to handle it. Because I've noticed on the cushion part as well, like as soon as that goes, we're just sitting on wood. So it won't be comfortable. And then we'll have to reinvest in another chair. These are very important times, guys. Very important times. I mean, either way, we're spending 300 bucks, right? So we either spend 150 bucks on two of these, and then in the future we get new chairs. So that's gonna equate to more than 150 bucks. Or we spend 300 bucks now and get two higher quality chairs that we will have for longer. So the money's the same, it's just when do we want to spend the money? Yeah, this is the fun thing. There's the things you gotta think about. So this chair here, much more padding. It's still, you know, not completely ergonomic, but better than slouching around in one of the other chairs. It is the price of, you know, the two chairs that we were looking at originally, but I think there's just more growing room in this. What do you think? Yeah, no, I agree. I think, um, I think it's definitely a better investment. I mean, it's gonna help me sit properly, because, yeah, again, if anyone knows me, I sit like this. I sit like this at my desk and try and change that. So I'm gonna have back problems when I'm like 60. Um, a bit younger. Nah. I think I'm good with this one. We'll go with this. Well, we've saved 50 bucks off the chairs we originally found. <laughs> there you go. All right, hey guys. So basically we are on our last coat. Um, as you can see, Reese is just doing the final touches to the wall. And then we're gonna go on the other side and do the rest. But uh, yeah, so once we get the walls done, that's basically us. We can start moving in furniture, start moving in all this other stuff. So we've got an idea for what chair we wanna use. Um, we asked about uh, one of the desks that we were really wanting, but um, unfortunately the store that we went into didn't have any stock. So we're, we're gonna just keep an eye on them and see if they get more in, but it's all come together quite well. What we'll have to do though is uh, vacuum the floor. I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it just looks disgusting. Especially over there, you can see that. Yuck. So we got, we got a few down here as well that we might kind of sort out. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. That's too bad. You can actually see that line bit just there. But yeah, so a few things like that we're gonna um, just kind of clean up. Because we want to, you know, without getting all this furniture in, we don't want to start moving it around and you know, painting stuff when we had the room like this already. So, yeah. 
anyway. So that's it for day two of setting up the new office. Uh, we've done the two coats of paint on the walls and we're not sure whether we're going to do a third paint or not. We're going to let it dry and we're going to check back in tomorrow. Hopefully we don't have to, but there are a couple patches that might need it. Uh, tomorrow I am going to be working on getting the server ready, so all our media is stored in one place instead of on a hundred different hard drives. And lastly, we're just going to do a bit of shopping around for desks. We're going to see whether we need some new desks or whether or not we just wait and get the ones we want. Yeah, so it's going to be good. It's been going pretty good so far, so very exciting times. Except for the fact that I'm all covered in paint. Oh no, someone's done manual labor. I do manual labor each day. I pick up more than you'll ever think in your entire life.